Good day students. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to use scale to run 8051 programs. You need to install scale microvision in your system. After installing it, if you want to run simple programs, first you create a comfortable folder in any comfortable drive. Now I am opening a folder in a desktop to show you a demo. Once we are creating each and every file and project, save those file and project in the folder that we are creating. Open the kale by double clicking it. You will be getting this thing. So there will be three windows as a default option. One is output window, one is workspace window and one is the program window. So initially you have to start a new project. So new project should be created in the folder that we have already created. So we have created a folder called Kale. Inside the folder you have to create a project. So project extension will be .uv2. So I am saving my project. Once we have saved our project, it will ask for a target device. So here a database is provided which gives the different company's name. And for example, if I want to work with the chip of Intel company, I am selecting a Intel. And if I clicking it, I will be getting a huge microcontrollers available with Intel. So I am selecting 8051AH. So here the description of that chips, that it is a chip with 8-bit microcontroller, 32 input-output lines, that is 4 ports, 2 timers, 5 interrupts, 4 KB ROM, everything will be coming here. I am selecting the particular chip and if it is a huge project, you need a startup code. So as we are going to work on a simple program, I am giving no. Now our project is created and the project name is be displayed here, test and some target is produced here. Now I am going to open a file. So new file is open. Inside this file you have to give your program. So here I am having a simple program. Program to do x square plus xy where xy or 8 bit data. Here the data x is in memory 4000 and y is in memory 4001. And I want to store the result of x square plus xy in the address 4002 and 4003. So for that the program code will be like this. So initially I am loading the x from 4000 to accumulator and I want that x for also doing xy. So I am storing the data in some other internal memory location. And again, I am duplicating the data and doing multiplication AB, which is meant to do a X square operation. And I am storing the result of the multiplication from A and B register to some internal memory address 40 and 50. So lower order byte at 40, higher order answer at 50. And I am incrementing the DPTR to get the Y value. And I am getting the Y value at A and I am moving the X value which is available in the 20H to A and I am multiplying both. Now XY solution is available in the as a multiplication answer. So I am straight away adding that accumulator answer with the already data that is X square solution to obtain the result. You can just go through the entire program to understand the operation of X square plus XY. So before starting the program, it is required to Start with the assembler directive ORG. So I am going to start with the program with ORG and going to end the program with end. So this is my program and I probably copying this program and in the kale I am just giving the program that is typing the program. After typing the program in the kale go to file and save the file and give any name. So I am doing some expression. So I am going to give a name 
exp and the extension should be a51 so extension is very important here so i am developing 8051 microcontroller so i am giving a name and i am saving in the same folder so after saving the program file i need to add this file to a project so in the project workspace click the target you will be getting a source group right click the source group you will be getting so much options in that options you click add files to group so if i click it it will ask for a file so types of files all files means all the files will be displayed in our folder so this is my required file exp and i am adding the file to the project after adding the file close the window so if you click the plus button in the source group under target you can view the added file experiment.51 now our project is ready with the added file now it's the time to check our program so i am building the target so this icon is for building the target or you can place the mouse in target and right click and build target also, uh, option is available there so here after building if you see the output window it will give the assembled thing so here it is mentioning that there is a error in the line 3 and 10 so i am coming to the line 3 and so what is the error so here moving from the external memory requires move x statement so i am typing move x and then add uh, saving the file and rebuilding it again so after rebuilding if you see i am getting zero error and zero warning so now the file is compiled now we have to go to a debugging that is i want to run this program to run this program click the debug button and go to start stop debug session so go to start doc so here the code size for this version is a free version so 2k is the code size after giving ok here in the project workspace you can see the values of r0 to r7 and a b and other important registers value now to run the program so the program is available here we have to take the data from 4000 so we need to type the data here if this memory window is not there you can go to view and you can select the windows to be displayed here so here to view the address x type capital x for external memory colon put 0 x 4000 h So the data already data present in the memory external address are 0, 0. Now we need to modify the value. Now right click each and every memory cell and modify the value. So the first location 5, second location if I give 10 automatically it will be converted to hexa and here the values are saved as 5 and A. Now if you run the program the values from the 4000 that is 5 and 0a will be taken and used by the program so to run the program you can run fi to get us answer directly or if you want to run single line by line you can press f11 so if i press f11 first instruction will be executed so move dptr 4000 the answer will be displayed here dptr is now loaded with 4000 the next instruction at dptr so the number at dptr that is 5 is at dptr it is loaded to accumulator so this is happening here so similarly each and every instruction will be responding by responded by respective registers so similarly i am running all the program and correspondingly i can view the result after the program here the registers values are known now the data solution is loaded to a dptr value and now the new dptr value is represented here so the 4b is the answer of our particular k program so this is how we can run a simple k program
So when you want to run one more time, you should come out from the debug session and again you should enter the debug session. And again you have to enter the respective data. So this is how you can work with the KE. Thank you.